Gather around folks, I am going to try to explain electrical engineering technology. I just graduated in April from Conestoga College, so I think I can tell you what it's all about. Uh, this video is going to give you a breakdown of what you will learn if you're interested in taking a similar program. I'm going to go through most of the courses and give a short summary of them. College is a collection of courses, so hopefully this will help you if you're wondering what this shit is all about. So let's begin. Electrical principles. No electrical background is assumed. Learn what resistance, voltage, and amperage is. Series and parallel circuits. What capacitance and inductance is. Take everything I said and solve complex circuits at a beginner level. Electrical measurement. The lab portion of the previous course. Measure electrical properties of circuits built on a breadboard using a multimeter. Analytical techniques, basically a logic course. Learn about different number systems, decimal, binary, hex, octal. Learn about logic gates, and or knots, etc. And build combination logic circuits. Electrical skills, learn a variety of hands-on skills using tools such as strippers, knockouts, drill and taps, soldering, and wire some simple circuits. Introduction to AutoCAD, learn how to use AutoCAD. Mathematics 1. Math. Electrical Fundamentals. Take your first semester electrical theory and learn more about complex circuits. Resistive, capacitive, and inductive circuits. Complex number numbers, phase shift, and phase diagrams, etc. Also, you are introduced to single phase and three phase RCL circuit calculations. Mathematics 2. More math. Magnetic circuits. Learn the fundamental concepts of magnetism. Basically a physics course, lots of math and formula. Programming principles. Introduces students to C and C++ computer programming. Programmable logic controllers 1. Learn a modern manufacturing techniques that programmable logic controllers allow. Program push buttons, lights, and motors to name a few things. DC motor generator and control theory. Learn about DC motors, compound series, calculate efficiency, losses, input, output power, torque, etc. Introduction to renewable energy. Introduces students to photovoltaic and battery technologies. If you pay attention in this course, you can actually learn a lot about solar panels and pretty much start your own, you know, solar panel, charge controller, battery uh, setup. Programmable logic controllers too. Apply higher levels of programming instructions. Electrical code. Learn about electrical safety code. Ampacity of wires, conduit fill, apartment service, calculations, and etc. Safety standards for electrical systems. I can summarize the entire course. Don't touch live shit and use your head. Advanced computer applications. Learn about communication network. How the internet works, kind of? Land bridges, internet switches, programming in Visual Basic, and Excel spreadsheets. TCP, IP, Telnet, FTP, and HTTP. To be honest, I don't know what any of that stuff is. Advanced Digital Electronics. Learn about and program microcontrollers. We used the PIC controller, which sucks balls because there's like absolutely no information about the fucking controller. Calculus and Mathematical Modeling introduces students to calculus. Electronic Machine Controls, another PLC class, but using HMIs, AC drives, servo systems. Transformer Design, design an entire transformer. Advanced Mathematical Modeling, more calculus. So hopefully you found this summary helpful. Uh, I kind of, it was kind of dry kind of raw dogged it but you know it's just the way she goes you know uh, if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you disliked it just give it a thumbs down and if you, if you think i could have done anything better just leave a comment so um anyways thanks for watching